Hey everybody, it's Will. Just wanted to uh, show you guys the machining of the body on the uh, DMG Mori. Back up and running. Gotta love it. Anyway, um, so I've got this set up so that, um, well, I need to turn the coolant so it's off on these op operations. So I'm basically only doing uh, sections of the program, um, and later on I'll I'll be able to turn cooling completely off so you guys can see what's happening uh, on some of the operations. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, start this up. So right now we're doing the uh, the outside of the body. Um, there's a lot of stick out there. Uh, you know, it's a half inch round rod of uh, brass um, that's got, uh, I believe, 2.6 ish inches of stick out. So a lot of stick out. Um, let's go. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay. Now. <laughs> I have to do this with the door closed, otherwise you'd be able to see a little bit better. I haven't figured out exactly how to uh, disable the door sensor, so I'm just not gonna do that for a while. Uh, Alright, so next on, now on to the uh, finishing tool. It's got a much sharper nose radius and uh, it's just a sharper tool in general. Um, yeah. So that's uh, all the outside of the body. Now we're moving on to the transfer. So it uh, takes in the part, pulls it out, and then uh, does a cutoff operation here. Cuts through like butter. Of course it's brass, so. To be expected. All right. So now we're doing a uh, face on this uh, this part. All right. And for this one, I really do have to have coolant on, sadly. But this is uh, the deep drill, um, so it's doing about 2.8 inches of drilling uh, in a few seconds. Gotta love that zero pecking. Um, Start this one. All right, so now I got to clean up this window, so I want to pause it for a second. Okay, so we have just done a uh, drill. Now we can uh, keep the coolant off in these next few operations. Um, I've modified a center drill for this next one to make a chamfer on the inside. Um, yeah, we're good. Just goes in and makes a nice rounded edge in there. Uh, next we have an OD roughing tool, outside diameter roughing tool. Up a little bit there, then the uh, finishing tool. Getting real close to the chuck there, gotta love it. All right, so now we have uh, the first set of threads. These uh, are the threads that the grips attach with, they're just regular 60 degree threads. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Sorry, I'm a little shaky, it's uh, zoomed in. So we're doing several passes, make beautiful threads. And 
there's some Y axis in there since I've got uh, two tools, uh, you know, have to go up and down, which is the Y axis on this machine. Uh, let's go ahead and do the second threading operation for the acne threads. Um, these also get extremely close to the chuck. Alright, so now we have some cleanup stuff. Uh, so we're going to go back to that OD finishing tool, outside diameter finishing tool. It's going to do a cleanup. So when cutting threads, there's sometimes little burrs. So that just cleans them up. And for the uh, acne threads, they're going to get done again for the last three passes. It's again just to clean things up a little bit, make sure there's not any burrs. Um, and then here's the best part. The work unloader part, which makes use of uh, the parts conveyor here. Uh, the parts catcher will come up here in a second. I mean, yesterday when I first got to do the, the this is the first time, it was like uh, the best Christmas day ever. Um, so, spits out the part. Part catcher goes down. Parts conveyor. If it doesn't bring it out, it'll just barely be on the inside there. There it is. So now all that part needs to do is uh, get blown off and uh, put in an egg carton container or an egg crate and uh, then uh, cleaned up a little bit before it gets um, assembled into a pin. So that's my first one and done part so you know we bring in material put it in the parts uh, or in the um, bar feeder well, trying to blank there for a second uh, picks it up on the uh, the first spindle over here uh, does all the work with the first side of the tools on the turret then the uh, sub spindle comes picks it up then the second side of the turret all the work uh, is done on the second part then the sub spindle comes back out, parts catcher comes up, spits out the part, brings it to the parts conveyor, and you know, if I wanted to run the, the machine all day or all night, um, certain materials definitely could. Uh, I'm not probably, probably not gonna be doing that for the next few days, just to make sure that you know everything's working like clockwork, um, and it's um, there if anything happens. But uh, ideally, you know, parts conveyor will bring things down here this bucket which is now sort of full of chips but uh, it could be full of parts uh, where all they need to do is get cleaned up and then assembled uh, super exciting I love this machine it is fantastic